Hey everyone, welcome to another Still Speaks video, and we're finally doing it. We are casting the 3v3 tournament that happened January 27th, 2024, hosted by Ixen. So if you have nothing else to comment, comment down below. Thank you, Ixen. That would motivate him. And I got to give a big shout out to Alpha Hex for helping me create helping me find a map I didn't have and sorting out this tournament so it's easier for me to cast. So thank you, Alpha X. Click the link down below because I have a, well, he has a playlist for you from his perspective playing in the tournament. It is definitely worth your time. And if you want to get better at this game, observe him and definitely, definitely do as he does. Great player definitely worth a watch so anyhow he also made the eco viewer check out the players colors their names their mass mass per second energy energy per second research and research per minute so thank you alpha hex for all your help so let's get on with it let's introduce the players we got team one over here in the west and team two over here in the east so i'm going to be thanking alpha hex every video because well it is the right thing to do and plus he's got re He's got stuff on YouTube about it. Definitely worth your time to check out. So anyhow, we got Don spawning in as the purple UEF commander dropping down a double air factory opener. And he's got one too many P-Gens queued up. That's okay. That is completely okay, Don. But we more efficient would be just three. Two better. Two would be better. But three is okay. So we got Zurek spawning in as the white cyber commander dropping down a double land factory opener and then queuing up a research station after three energy generators okay okay not bad not bad and this build right now i could tell you isn't going to work we got well i'm not going to say his name because youtube might think the word in the middle is a naughty word in English. So we're gonna just call him Ein Max. Ein Max spawning in as the Baloo UEF commander dropping down a double land factory opener and a research station using the engineers, which I think is not optimal. It should be an air player right here, to be honest with you, because you got that one land player plug in the gap, you know, and they're being scouted, and they don't have it. They're not scouting, so that they don't even have a single land unit, a single air unit out. So not off to the best start. But I got to give it to these guys. These guys I have never seen play before, not once. So they're up against some pretty good, some pretty good comp, great competition. Don't get me wrong. These their opponents are great. So team two is stacked against them to be honest with you but that's how tournaments go sometimes but i gotta give it to don zarek and ein max because seriously they're playing a tournament they're in it they're doing it you know what i mean and that's what we like to see so good job guys thank you for participating so we got lucan spawning in as the red aeon commander dropping on a double air factory opener and i think he was doing the commander trick earlier going back and forth so that is great and then we got big max <laughs> big max is spawning in as the orange cyber commander dropping on a triple research station opener and then we got killerito spawning in as the teal aeon commander dropping on a double air factory opener and doing the commander trick you could see he he assisted in between so he's going to go back and forth in between these factories so let's speed this up well not too fast already destroying stuff from team one team two is already wrecking things yep engineers dying biting the dust though yeah those units aren't going to do much i don't know what they're Team 1 is thinking, but like I said, Team... Oh, they got something there. Good. Okay, okay. So, Team 2 is stacked, I gotta be honest. Ooh, they... 
And there's a Mega. Ooh, Structure Detonate. Nasty, 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 nasty. But the en Engineer rebuilds like it. That ain't no thing. Uh-oh. Yeah, the air... Oh, there goes Dawn. Did you guys see how Killerito split his air off so when they attacked, they didn't... When they killed... When they ended Dawn, they didn't... They didn't lose all their air. And Zrek is next. And there he goes. And it looks like Ein Max is going to be uh, Ein Gone. Boom! Down he goes. So, again, I hate that when people do that in tournaments. Don't do that! Don't do that! These are pros, they should know better. Um, literally, the rules say in most tournaments, if both ACUs, well, in this case, all six ACUs detonate, it's a rematch. So, I, I, I could guarantee you the... The... Ixin was okay with this, but me? Mm -mm. If you did this, I'd make you play it again. Because this doesn't make any sense, right? Like, Control Kane, your commander, right before the, the end. It's like, I mean, it, it doesn't matter, really. But in tournament play, the rules say, if all the commanders detonate, it is a rematch. And this is, the according to the rules, you'd have to do a rematch, right? So, please don't do that. Don't do that in a tournament setting. The, the rules say, you know, the rules say. So, sorry to be a stickler. I don't like it, personally. I think it's not a good thing to do in tournament. And, like, casual replays, I don't care. But if the rules state all the ACUs detonate, it, it's a re it's a, re -thing, uh, a rematch, I wouldn't risk it. So, anyhow, thank you for watching, guys. We're going to check out Game 2 coming right up. And we're back with match two of the first round of the 3v3 tournament hosted by Ixen happening in January 2024. The map is Reactor and it is not stock with Supreme Commander 2 at all. So you got to join the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server to have access to it. So click the link down below to do that. So anyhow... Let's introduce the players. This is again team one over here in the northwest, northwest, <laughs> northwest, and team two in the north east. Oh, that can kind of confuse me. West and east. Wow. West, northwest, south. Did I say north? South, east. Did I say that right? Well, you know where team two is. Southeast. Okay. So anyhow, we got. Don spawning in as the Brown UEF Commander dropping down a triple air factory opener in echoing all the things. I would Don, if you're watching, build using your build it build factories using your ACU. It'll help you, I promise. And then we got Zrek spawning in as the white Cyber Commander dropping down a triple land factory opener. And then we got Ein Max spawning in as the red UBF commander dropping down a triple air factory opener again. Use your ACU to build your factories. I'm not kidding you. But anyhow, a big, I gotta give these team one a big hand here. Like seriously, these guys are playing some, some pros. So that's, you know, gotta give them a hand for even joining the tournament so good job guys i thank you for doing that so now we got killerito spawning in as the teal aeon commander dropping on a double air factory opener and then we got big max spawning in as the orange cyber commander dropping down a triple research station opener and then we got lucan spawning in as the green aeon commander dropping on a single air factory and a single research station opener very interesting oh he's going heavy eco that's what he's doing and notice these builds right three research stations two energy generators very optimized and we got two land factories i mean air factories and three 
energy generators. Totally cool. And doing the commander's trick by assisting right next to the factories. Very, very helpful. So let's speed this bad boy up so we could see what's happening. So, of course, Team 2 has scouted. Team 1 is scouting as well. Is that scout going to escape? And no, of course not. It's dead. So we got Zarek attacking immediately. Let's see what Zarek... Oh! Structure detonate. That is... Oh, sucking up delicious yummy in my mass, that mass, yo. That's what I like to see, Big Max. Now, seriously, guys, um, structure detonates a thing, so that's something you got to look out for. And then we got, huh, bombers when air isn't won. So that's something that UEF players need to be aware of. If you're not winning air, don't build bombers unless you absolutely need them and you don't absolutely need them just yet. You're gonna need them because you're gonna need to take out that Mega. Again, structure detonate. Gotta be careful, Team 1. So, Zarek, if you're watching, structure detonate's a very powerful thing. I know AI doesn't do it when you play, it, play against AI, but I promise you, Really good players will use it. And Big Max is floating mass. Don't like big mass floats. And Zarek is floating mass. Everyone's floating mass here. Don't like that. I think Big Max needs to... Yeah, he needs more energy. Maybe? I don't know. But he's floating way too much mass for me to really enjoy that. But it is what it is because they're going to win. And I don't know, man. They're probably going to win. Must just be nice. Yep. This is what happens when you split up your teams and you let Aeon get to flares. Once Aeon has flares, woo, baby. Let's see how these bombers do. Will they get off the cell? Oh! There's a bouncer! And it wipes everything out because it's one of the more powerful units for that type of thing. Okay. And it looks like Dawn is in deep doo doo. And down goes Dawn. I heard a. heard something die. Very powerful combination right there. Nice little bombing run taking out that. These gantries. Yeah, these gantries aren't even a worry. Again, structure detonate would have been helpful taking putting a dent in these units. And it looks like Zarek is dead and coming for Einmax. And boom, down they go. So team two is moving on. Big Max, Killerito, and Lucan are moving forward to round two. And unfortunately, Big uh, Big Max is winning. Uh, Ein Max, Zarek, and Dawn are going to the loser's bracket. I hate calling it that, but that's what it's called. The lower bracket, we'll say. But I gotta say a huge, 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 like, shout out to Ein Max, Zarek, and Dawn for even joining a tournament that is awesome we need more new players to keep this game alive that's how it's done so thank you thank you thank you guys you guys are awesome for even participating that's really cool i, I gotta give these guys mad respect so comment down below if you don't have anything to say and you didn't say thank you to ixon or even if you did say thank you to ixon this say great job team one or something like that, you know, or write down the guy's names, write all their names. It's up in the topper, top topper, top right hand corner if you need help spelling it. So a big, 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 uh, lots of love to those guys. So what could they have done differently to win? Optimize those builds, you know, put more hours into the game and learn that, you know, if you're not winning air, don't go AC-1Ks, don't go bombers, just build a bunch of wasps to fight off the enemy air, um, get bombers to help fight off land, right? And as for Zarek, be careful of structured detonate.
Could have been more of a menace if he didn't get killed by structure detonate. And same advice for Dawn. Build wasp, build wasp, and, and and both their players need to stay together. So that's that's my analysis of that. So, you know, Big Max is floating, lots of mass. So is the re wow, lots of mass being floated, but it is what it is. So that's how it goes sometimes. And I think Big Max might have been, yeah, his problem might have been room, having enough room to build. Usually, yeah, you might want to make it up to there. But you know what? I, I don't have any advice. He knew he. he his team was stacked, so there you go. So, when you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel, favorite could help mail, send a good replays. This still speaks at gmail.com or join the Supreme Commander to Discord server by clicking the link down below and direct message me there or find or, or going to hashtag replays for still speaks, uploading it there and adding me. Be impatient. So, those are the only three ways you could do that. Only do one, please, one at a time. Do more than one, I get confused and we don't like me being confused. So, don't do that. But the Supreme Commander to Discord server is definitely worth your time. If you have any any achievements you need to complete, you can ask someone to help you there. If you want to play against AI, you could do that with another person. Or you could play against other people and join tournaments and get new max, max new maps like Reactor. So cool. That'd be awesome. Definitely do that. Q Alpha X is ad now. What? You still haven't joined the biggest Supreme Commander 2 Discord in the world with over 1,000? Uh, 2,000? You have General, Hall of Fame, all the YouTube channels, all the YouTube videos, streaming, uh, don't, don't worry about that. Ask for some help, post some memes, send some replays, find a game, dead chat. We even have a channel for all the Xbox Subcom 2 players. So what are you waiting for? Click the first link in the video description or just type Supreme Commander 2 in the thing that nobody will ever use. You should join now! Comment down below, say something nice about the players, about the game. Definitely praise Team 1 for even trying and joining the tournament. That is very cool. Thank you guys for doing that. Amazing. Amazing. And thank Ixen as well, so thank you Ixen. But anyhow, if if you want to support me, there's links in the description down below with instructions on how to do that. It, everything's laid out very well now. So if you, I have a Patreon page, click the link down below to get involved with that and a uh, big shout out to alpha hex iron commander prelia tornex valor and a cone thank you guys for being amazing patrons i appreciate you and i also have ko-fi if, if if a subscription service isn't your thing of course this can be a subscription service but it doesn't have to be you could help support me monetarily as low as five dollars one time so you could do that through Ko-Fi. A big thank you to Dr. Pearl and a gigantic thank you to Colin300. You guys are amazing. Thank you so, so much. So those are ways to support me monetarily. You could also buy my band, my old band's music on Bandcamp or my new band's music on Amazon, Google Play, and Apple. Things like that. So if you want to help me out without spending any money, I got you. Don't even worry. There are... Links in the description down below to help me do that by checking out, watching these videos all the way through, liking, commenting. Same thing with my band's music videos. Watch them all the way through, liking, commenting, subscribing. All that stuff helps. And you can check out my band on Spotify. Check out Missing You three times through because it helps out the Spotify algorithm. Add it to a playlist and follow us there. You, My band is called King of Cups. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for listening to me. And that is it for this game. So share with your friends, family, and foes who need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, G, G.